Hey YouTube, Zed Wrench here, and uh, just a quick video today. I wanted to announce my entry for Starlock's 500 Brand Starry giveaway. So uh, Starlock's done a shout out for my channel, which was really awesome. Helped uh, gain me a number of subscribers and kind of kickstart my channel at the beginning. And uh, since then, as part of this challenge. Lockpicking's gal did a video highlighting my channel as well. So, I figured it's time now that I have a whopping 40-something subscribers, I know, getting up in the digits there, that uh, I would do a response video entry to this and uh, give back to another small channel that uh, I've been watching lately. Now, this channel has uh, quite a few videos, and as of the time of me filming this, it has 69 subscribers. I know. So, um, I wanted to announce Coxie's Picks. Now, uh, a lot of their videos don't have uh, any voiceover or anything like that. They're all very direct to the point, um, but his videos show a wide range of competency. And uh, in the later videos, sorry, I said his, I'm not entirely sure if uh, the gender of the person, but uh, their videos show a wide range of competency and uh, cover a lot of different locks, some uh, quick picks, some exploits and bypasses and things like that. And in their later videos, they started doing a uh, text-to-speech voiceover, which uh, I enjoy the cadence of. It sounds a... Uh, little robotic, a uh, little monotone, kind of like myself. So anyway, my entry for Starlock's 500 brand Starry, as I mess up some of the lettering there with my fat fingers. And uh, I just wanted to give out a shout out to Coxie's Picks. And then since this is a Locksport channel, and you're probably here for that sort of content, <clears throat> not for uh, the lovely backdrops and whiteboards and various clutter on my workbench, I thought that I would give you guys a little look into my not-so-everyday carry. So, flashlight. This is a set that I carry around with me. It has kind of all the odds and ends that uh, I tend to use frequently at uh, get-togethers and uh, conventions, things like that. Some Teflon lube. A 3D printed mold for key impressioning, along with some Sculpey for making those impressions. Bags for pins and things like that. Bit of braided leather that I use for, um, use for applying tension to padlocks and things like that when I'm pull picking. Rubber bands and bump keys for a variety of common keyways. Shims. Stickers, because everybody likes stickers. <clears throat> a set of assorted jig whoa there goes focus on that set of assorted jigglers and a few keys for warded locks my ch751 key handcuff key etc a handful of comb picks and then Charger, USB-C cord. This is just a couple of overflow picks. I kind of tend to stick ones in here that are retiring from my actual everyday carry, just in case I do end up needing them again. Cram the odds and ends stuff back in here and move on to the next pocket real quick. First pocket is where I keep my main set of tools for gutting. Handy screwdriver that has a number of bits in there. The small Sparrows pinning mats and a uh, 
what do you call those, a card for measuring key cuts, along with a homemade dowel follower. <clears throat> The parts to my lever lock pick. My cheap set of tubular lock picks. This is sort of my get into everything if my everyday carry kit doesn't work. Tensioner for shutter locks. My homemade pry bar bump hammer. I love this thing. Gut wrench to go with the rest of the gutting kit. A handful of smaller comb picks and some little tiny picks and rakes from uh, AT Security for well, the occasional teeny tiny like luggage lock and thing like that that I come across. It's nice to have something that's the right size for those. These are just wiper inserts and some spring steel, street super bristles, stuff like that. Odds and ends for making tension wrenches. My pinning tweezers. These ones are just a... Uh, Unlock the autofocus on that. These are just a simple pair of tweezers that I liked, modified them so that they can pick up pins more easily. And my offset hybrid and Nessie rakes from Law Lock Tools. These uh, are useful on more open keyways. Wow, the autofocus is going crazy on this video. I apologize for that. And uh, they definitely get use occasionally, though not terribly often. These are a whole bunch of extra bits for my screwdriver so that I can handle pretty much anything you throw at me there. It looks like everything from this pocket. And then last but not least, My other one's actually right here because I was using it a little bit earlier. My DIY clamps for mortise cylinders and pretty much everything else. Uh, I use these instead of, let's see, do I have a, instead of these most of the time because it's easy to just quickly clamp something up, pick it, and then uh, put it away when I'm done. They also double as, you know, actual clamps for things. <clears throat> so. Anyway, that is it for this. I just wanted to make that response video. Got a little carried away with uh, the odds and ends in my extended uh, not-so-everyday carry kit. But hopefully you all found that uh, informative or at least mildly interesting. And so, again, uh, shout-out to Coxie's Picks. I hope that your channel does really well. I enjoy your videos. Keep them up. And uh, yeah, thanks to everybody in this community and Starlock for this challenge. Uh, it's a great way to amplify everyone's reach and get a lot of little channels off the ground. And that's what this community thrives on. A lot of these little channels popping up, getting people interested in the sport. Uh, I hope to see great things from all the channels in your lists. Thanks.